Hi ako po si Sir Jericho and on this video, pag-usapan natin ng one-way ANOVA. We will run one-way ANOVA on Microsoft Excel and on PSPP. PSPP is the free version of SPSS. ANOVA or Analysis of Variance is the t-test for more than two groups or more than two conditions. Remember t-test, the independent samples t-test and related samples t-test. Ang kinocompare lang natin doon ay dalawa dalawang grupo, means ng dalawang grupo, kung significant ba yung difference. So what if we want to compare more than two, three, four, or five groups? And we're going to use analysis of variance or ANOVA. ANOVA allows us to test if there's a significant difference among the means of several groups, in this case, more than two groups. And the hypothesis for ANOVA, for the null hypothesis, we assume that all the means are equal. So, pantay-pantay lang sila. And for alternative, at least one of the means is different. What does it mean when we say at least one of the means is different? Well, ANOVA will give you a significant result even if only one of the means is actually significant from the other. Kung apat yung grupo mo, tapos yung isang grupo lang yung naiba, actually ANOVA will tell you that the difference is actually significant. Kahit isa lang sa kanila yung nag-iba. Or lahat sila iba-iba. Significant yung ibibigay ni na result ni ANOVA. There are two types of analysis of variance. The first one is independent ANOVA and the second one is related ANOVA. Yung independent ANOVA generalize t-tests for independent samples. So dapat hindi related yung mga groups. Pwede group 1 versus group 2 versus group 3 or section 1 versus section 2 versus, versus section 3 or uh, apat na grupo taught using different teaching methods. You want to compare their performance Okay naman, grupo na nag-undergo into different review methods, you want to compare their performance. For related ANOVA naman, isang grupo lang. Isang grupo lang ng tao, isang grupo lang ng sudyante ang bibigyan mo ng treatment. For example, isang grupo lang yung tinuruan mo using a specific method. The following week, same group pa din, ibang teaching method naman. The following week, same na group, ibang teaching method naman. And they were going to compare alin doon yung mas mataas yung performance nila. Mukhang mahirap kasi dapat iba-iba yung lesson mo doon. No? Hindi mo naman pwedeng gamitin yung lesson na ginamit mo doon sa first treatment, sa second treatment versus sa, tri sa third treatment. Another example for later ANOVA is that um, you can siguro test the, ano ba, the motivation of the student sa mga nag under ng ODL if they're using cellphone. For example, they use cellphone for a specific study or they use cellphone for a specific review and then suddenly nag, uh, ginawa mo namang tablet yon tapos uh, ginawa mong computer. So isang grupo lang yung nag-receive ng treatment tapos you have to compare their performances. Well, in this case, we will not talk about related ANOVA. For this video, we'll just go with independent ANOVA. And just like t-test, ANOVA is a parametric uh, test and it should um, satisfy several assumptions. The first one is, of course, kailangan yung data mo is at least interval or ratio level. The second one is normality. Kailangan uh, the data from where, or the population from where you get your sample should be normally or approximately normally distributed. The second one is the variances should be homogeneous. And the third one is only for related ANOVA. So yung sa homogeneity of variance, remember we have ano bang rule natin doon? Kuhanin mo yung variances nung bawat grupo, and then as a rule of thumb, um, times 2 or times 3, kung ma-reach nung isang pinakamababa, when you multiply it by 2, na-reach na yung isang sunod na mataas, then uh, okay pa yon. Or you can, uh, we have actually a test for this. So remember Levine's test, or the F test for equality of variance. You can perform those things before doing one way ANOVA. But ANOVA is relatively robust um, with respect to these assumptions. So even though you violated the normality a little bit or the homogeneity of variance a little bit, you can still proceed with the procedure. You can still proceed with the analysis as long as you reach the certain number of samples. In literature, dapat daw mga at least 25 or at least 30 per group. So let's talk about the logic of ANOVA. Well, ang ginagawa lang ni ANOVA, kinukuha niya yung means to bawat grupo and then ANOVA will compare it to the grand mean. The grand mean is the average of the means. And then, meron siyang dalawang sources of variation na compute The between group variance and the, the within group variance. 
the between group variance or the variation um, between the columns, columns by group. So, kinocompute niya yung, va- yung variance ng mga means ng bawat groups na yun. And the other one is within group variance or the variance within each group. If we want to have a significant result, we want the between group variance, the variance of the means of the groups, to be bigger than the within group variance. Let's consider this example. So I have three groups here, ODL, MDL, and blended. So my independent variable here is learning modality or simply modality. And my dependent variable will be the scores of the students. Say for example, final score to in a one, 1 to 50 examination. Again, my independent variable is modality and my dependent variable is performance, which is measured by the final examination. So we want to know um, if there is a significant difference among the means of these three groups of students. For ODL, I have 34. For MDL, I have 37. And for blended, I have 37. And our null hypothesis, all the means are equal. And alternative hypothesis, at least one of the means is different. So how do we run this on Microsoft Excel? We will run ANOVA on Microsoft Excel. So all you have to do is to go to data and then look for data analysis. If you don't have data analysis, remember to go to file, options, and then look for add-ins, click add-ins, and then look for this one, manage Excel add-ins, and then click go. Be sure that analysis tool pack, these two are checked. Actually, pwedeng isa lang ata. Ito. Yung solver, naka-check lang saan kasi ginagamit ko din siya. And then click OK. And then this analysis, data analysis should appear under data. So pinakadulo. So click data analysis. And then here are the statistical analysis that we can perform using Microsoft Excel. Sa pinakataas, you can look for, you can see there, ANOVA single factor, ANOVA two factor with replication, and ANOVA two factor without replication. But by the way, one way ANOVA yung pangalan nito, no? So meron two way ANOVA, meron three way ANOVA. Depende sa dami ng independent variable mo variables mo. In this case, isa lang independent variable natin, which is modality. Say, for example, you want to have um, another independent variable. Say, for example, gender. Modality, yung gusto mo compare and then there's another independent variable gender. You want to compare the performance of male and female under those modalities. And that's for two-way ANOVA. For our case, we'll just go over with single factor ANOVA. And then, all you have to do is to click OK. And then input range, for the input range, all you have to do is to highlight everything. Highlight everything. Do not include the cases, but you can include the, the, the labels in the first row. So since um, we included the labels, we have to check this one. And then they are grouped by columns. Column. And then output options, and mo lumabas yung output mo. Um, you can have a new worksheet. But for this case, let's just put uh, put the result here. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the result. So here are the summary, the descriptives. So we have the average for ODL. We have 37.7 for MDL, for blended. And here are the variances. So the variances are magkaka, ano, no? magkakadikit, no? So yung, talaga yung assumption natin for homogeneity, check na yun. Um, Yung normality, pwede nyo nang hindi check Pero kung gusto nyo pang i-check, pwede naman. You can create histograms. You can use Shapiro-Wilk and other tests for normality na alam nyo. Um, but for now, since more than 30 naman yung cases natin, again, ANOVA is robust. Uh, relatively robust with respect to the assumptions. So you can still run ANOVA. And let's talk about this. This is the ANOVA table. And what we're going to look here is look at the between group variance and the within group variance. Sabi natin kanina, if we want to have a significant result, we want the between groups variance or the data for the between groups to be relatively larger as compared to the within. And mukha namang mas... Yung MS. We'll, we'll look at the MS. This is sum of squares. Eh. Doon tayo sa MS nating tingnan. Kasi this is one. SS divided by DF or the degrees of freedom equals this. And then sum of squares divided by the, the, this one, 103, the degrees of freedom. You have 49.8. And as you can see, mas mataas na yung between group. 
between groups. And then to get the ANOVA F, all you have to do is to divide this. Uh, 933 divided by 49, you will get 18.75. And the p-value, makaganto, no? medyo nakakalito, no? gawin natin siyang data lang. Wag scientific. So, you just go to number. Yan. The p-value is very, very small. It's actually less than 0 0.001. And since our p-value is very small, therefore, we have to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that at least one of the means is different. ANOVA, as, as I have mentioned earlier, um, ANOVA will just tell you that there, there is a significant difference. But the problem here is hindi din alam kung sino yung naiba kanino. Baka si mamaya parehas lang yung, sino ba? Si ODL tsaka si blended, baka walang significant ang difference. Si MDL lang yung may significant ang, di ang difference. O kaya naman, baka si ODL at si MDL parehas lang, si blended yung naiba. Something like that. Well, ANOVA, hindi din kayang hanapin siya dito. Sa Microsoft Excel, hindi din makikita yon Pero sa PSPP at sa SPSS, we can look for that one. We can run post hoc analysis to have multiple comparisons. Ko compare natin si ODL versus MDL, ODL versus blended, MDL versus blended, and ODL versus blended. Titingnan natin kung sino sa kanila yung may significant yung difference. Uh, alam na natin, sabi ni ANOVA, there's a difference. Pero ang tanong natin, sino yung naiba kanino? Para malaman natin yon, we will run the same test, ANOVA, sa PSPP. Pero, iba yung structure ng data sa PSPP. Kailangan nakaganto siya. Kung sa, ano, kung sa Excel, kailangan magkakatabi sila, ganyan, nakagroup by, by columns. Sa PSPP, kailangan isang diretsyo lang yung data mo for performance, tapos nakagrupo sila. Kukode natin, katulad nito. So, here are the scores for ODL. Yan, to yung 1. Tapos, for, ito naman yung sa MDL, ang code nila is 2. Yung group nila is 2. And this is for blended yung color green. It will be for 3. So all you have to do is to copy everything sa ating PS... I'll be opening PSPP. By the way, um, I'll be putting the link kung saan nyo pwedeng ma-download yung PSPP and the video of the basics of PSPP. So PSPP, just like SPSS, they have two views. Uh, it has two views, data view and variable view. Sa data view, dito mo ilalagay lahat ng data mo. At sa variable view, dito mo ayusin yung mga variables. Sa data view, let's paste our data here. So, sa so variable 1, nandito yung scores nila and variable 2, nandito yung groupings. So, let's go to variable view. Dito sa variable, you can name this as score. For the variable number 2, pwedeng modality or mod na lang. Pwede mong mahaba, mahaba uh, exam scores. Examination scores. And for modality, I learning modality. And then yung um, value labels, remember yung sa modality 1 to 3 yun. So we have to put uh, labels. For example, anong ibig sabihin ng 1, anong ibig sabihin ng 2, anong ibig sabihin ng 3. So for 1, we know that 1 is for. Uh, what's for 1? What's 1 again? 1 is for ODL, 2 is for MDL, and 3 is for blended. Ay nga pala, yung data ko, ano lang to ha, gawa-gawa ko lang yung data. Hindi ko goal na i-compare talaga to ha, yung mga under ODL, MDL, tsaka under ano, blended learning. So wala yan. Gawa-gawa ko lang yung data. And then add, and then click OK. So how to run ANOVA? All you have to do is to... Go to Analyze, Compare Means, and then look for One-Way ANOVA. Oh, kita nyo, may independent samples t-test dito and paired samples t-test. And let's go to One-Way ANOVA. For One-Way ANOVA, tanongin ka, um, sino yung dependent variable mo? In this case, we have exam scores, and yung factor natin will be learning modality. We want the descriptives because uh, that will be included in our textual discussions pag wanted ng table. Um, let's check for homogeneity. Okay, let's check for homogeneity. And for post hoc analysis, um, you can select from Bonferroni, uh, Fisher's LSD, Sheffy, 2KHSD. Um, actually, kahit sino dito, pwedeng gamitan, no? But normally, we look, uh, we, we go for Sheffy and Tuki or ben Bonferroni. Checkan lang natin lahat, ha? But you can select lang kahit isa dyan. Ang, the difference between this post hoc analysis ay kung sino yung medyo stricto 
sa pagbibigay ng significant difference. So, well, yun lang naman yung difference nila. Sino yung mas liberal at mas conservative. So, let's click continue. And everything is go, good to go. Let's click okay. And here are the results of your one-way ANOVA. Nandito yung mga descriptives natin for ODL mean, standard deviation, standard error, 95 confidence interval for the mean, minimum, maximum. But just looking at this, parang mas pinakamagaling yung mga sa blended daw, mga mataas yung mean nila. Okay? And um, this is the Levine statistic. Uh, we actually, we encountered Levine's test or Levine statistic in the, no, no, in the independent samples t-test. Remember, me assumption yun na equal variances tsaka equal variances not assumed. So we use Levine statistics for that one. And since the p-value is 0.554, it's very high, it's more than 0.05. Therefore, we the, that homogeneity of variances is satisfied. And here is the ANOVA table. It's actually similar to the ANOVA table that we got from Microsoft Excel. And what we're going to do is we'll look at the multiple comparisons. Remember, again, ANOVA will just tell you if there's a difference. It will not tell you who is different from whom or sino yung naiba kanino. And for this case, because of post-hoc analysis, we will, we will be able to have multiple comparisons. And in this case, how to read this? Let's talk about Bonferroni muna. Bonferroni, hindi ko sure kung tama yung pagkaka-pronounce ko, pero Bonferroni. ODL versus MDL. So this is ODL versus MDL. The mean difference is 6.17. Ibig sabihin niya, mas mataas yung ODL. So this is ODL minus MDL at 6.17. And the p-value is 0 0.001. Ibig sabihin, significant yung difference ng ODL versus MDL. ODL versus blended. So, that's ODL versus blended. Mean difference is negative 3.92. P-value is 0 0.069. It's way more than 0 0.05. And we can conclude that ODL and blended and the mean of ODL and mean of blended learning are not statistically different. Um, ODL, MDL versus ODL, significant. MDL versus blended. MDL versus ODL, significant. MDL versus blended is also significant. But again, blended versus ODL, it's not significant. Which is actually true for the others, no? ODL versus blended, not significant than 0.75, sabi ni Sheffy. Sabi naman ni Tuki HSD, ODL and blended muntik na maging significant, no? But it's still 0 0.5, 0 0.059. It's not significant. Okay? So, ODL lang at saka si blended. Yung statistically the same. 